What up YouTube? So this is going to be part 7 of how to build a budget case series and uh, today we're going to be going over our roller rocker assembly and camshafts and also wanted to show you guys some more parts that I picked up for the swap so we have our 98 to 01 Euro a core box so this one sits a little bit lower and uh, it'll mount mount basically with the, hopefully the stock center console and then uh, we got our 310 cc injectors since the cord comes with 280 cc i believe uh also we have uh our crank sensor so this is the k20 crank sensor so we don't have to cut the harness it'll just bolt right up so those are basically our parts that we got for the budget i probably spent like 20 bucks on the crank sensor and then I spent 80 on the shift box and the injectors were free because they came in uh, the JDM K24 that I dropped into the RSX so I basically kept the stock one so this will bolt up to the Accord one but we're just going to be upgrading the injectors so right now I wanted to talk about getting the roller rocker set up on so I always put the zip ties on and uh, it's a lot easier when you actually have the bolts in so these can't actually come out because if you take the bolts out uh, it comes out of this basically so it allows it to separate so right now it's not going to separate at all so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, slap it on real quick so let me put this on the stand well first actually we got our lost motion valves springs so let's install those first and just go right here it's so basically so when the VTEC lobe is not being used these springs that's why they call them the lost motion springs because they just basically take the the motion of the cam lobe so really easy to install nothing crazy I just like to line them up the way they were actually uh, used on, so the up and down on the cam lobe. All right, sorry about that. I cut out. I'm running out of minutes again. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and slap this roller rocker assembly on real fast, so you guys can see. So this is the cam tiny side. So. So it's pretty much easy when you have, like I said, the bolts in. Even though we do have to put the cams in, like I said, once we actually have the bottom part down of the roller rocker assembly onto the head, then we can take the bolts out and then we can actually start uh, putting the cams inside. So right now, just going to kind of put it get it on as best as I can and then since the dowels are in there pretty good then I can start taking the caps back off all right so let me put this back down so Alright, so it's pretty much they're all down as good as they can as far as so the the pins won't pop out so right now let's start getting all these bolts out and then we can start installing our camshafts so also I use Jack Spania uh, head studs so we're gonna test those out as well see the potential of those since they're like one-third of the price of ARP studs so if they work out then 
I will be using them in the future. If not, and I blow a head gasket, I probably won't. But they seem like decent parts, so I'm always willing to give a company a tryout because you never know if they actually develop a good pro a product or not. And some people do, and then some companies don't. And you end up ruining your engine. But it happens, so. Like I said, this is just a budget build. I don't expect this motor to make crazy power, but it's actually all, all about if it's going to run. And uh, how reliable it's going to be, so. That's all that really matters about this build is reliability. Alright, so the intake side is always where the knock sensor is going to be in the front. So that's how you can tell. Plus this is the port for the water port also. So I'm going to actually put these down in a little bit more. Alright, so as you can see, I still got the zip ties in there. I usually don't take those off until the cams are completely in there, but so far we got our lost motion springs and our roller rocker assembly in. So we're going to take our intake cam. Let's go ahead and lay it down on here. We'll put it at as much as TDC as I can. And then our exhaust cam. Not gonna do timing right now. So I'm just, like I said, just showing you guys an example of what this motor is actually capable of being. So uh, realistically, some people are probably wondering why I'm saying it's just a K24. I don't wanna confuse people and say this is a K20 head. It's not an actual K20 head because it's an RBB3. But if you really think about it, I can show you a K20 head and it's exactly the same. So on my earlier videos, you can see the Z3 has the same personalities as the K24s. They come with the dual balance pump like a K24. They have the water pump housing like a K24. And uh, yeah, they're just, the, the, they're like cousins basically, except they're just a 2.0 instead of a 2.4, so. Other than that, this setup is going to have still a K20 oil pump setup, so it doesn't have the dual balance shaft, and it does have the 50 degree VDC, so I will be able to get a little bit more mid-end power out of this engine, and uh, yeah, it's actually going to have the true VTEC, so as you can see, it does have three lobes on each side, and not two on the intake and one on the exhaust. Other than that, now we can just start laying down our... Uh, top hats basically so I'll start with number one and as you can see the arrow they're all gonna go facing the same way so that's one two and it has two on the bottom so it matches up make sure you don't want to mix match so this is three Four and five and that's pretty much it so all we have to do is tighten these down and then we'll be ready for our timing chain which we'll be doing on the next video. I'm just trying to keep this series as short and quick as possible because uh, a lot of people might have questions and if I can do it on the next video and show you guys, I'd rather just keep it simple as possible. So yeah, so the setup we have right now, this is Z1 cams or Type R cams on a K24 uh, A8 block, which is out of a 2006 with an RBB3 head, 06 to 08 TSX head. And uh, we have our Type S oil pump kit. So hopefully we should be reaching the 200 horsepower mark to the wheels on the sleeper sedan. Hopefully we can get 
going in the next two weeks, maybe. Yeah, so other than that, if you guys have any questions about installing the uh, cams or roller rocker assembly, just let me know. You can hit me up on the comment section. You can also uh, email me at honda.mike1988 at gmail.com or you can hit me up on Instagram and that's rarewitted underscore. Uh, other than that guys, stay tuned and I see you guys in the next video.